Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Ariel from The Little Mermaid. So let's start with the eyes, I'm going to draw these big round circles. So starting on the one on the left, starting at the top, I'm just going to start drawing a circle. Now from here, let's draw in some highlights. So at the top corner, I'm going to draw a smaller circle. And at the bottom right corner, we'll draw a slightly smaller circle than that. Now in the center here, I'm going to have to draw a pupil, so just a small circle, but behind these two highlights. So we'll start on the edge here, and we'll just work our way around like so. We're going to go ahead and color the inside area in black. Okay, now let's move over to the one on the right. I'm going to draw the same size circle on the right side. So starting at the top, We'll work our way around and back up to the top again. From here, let's draw that same highlight circle in the top corner and then a smaller one on the bottom right. And we'll go ahead and draw the pupil in behind. So a slightly smaller circle, just tracing the inside circular area around. We'll color this one in black. Okay, from here, let's draw on some eyelashes. So starting the one on the left, right here, we're just going to draw a curve. Make a little gap and draw another curve. And again, leaving a gap and drawing another curve there. Go to the right side and we'll do the exact same thing. Okay, from here, let's draw on some eyebrows. So just above here, I'm just going to draw a curve just above each eye, like so. Now we're going to draw the area around the head. So what we want to do we start on the outside, up here on the top of the left eye, and then work our way around to the right side. So from here, I'm going to start drawing a curve around the face, just like so. Let's draw in the mouth. So we're just going to give her a little crooked smile. So just here on the left side, we're just going to draw a curve like so. And then from here, I'm going to connect to the one side on the right, a little curve like this. Give her a little tongue by giving a curve like so, and we'll color the upper area in black. Now from here, let's draw in the hair. So from this side, I'm just going to draw a big swoop for the top area of the hair. So from here, we go up, over the eyes, come down on the side of the head, and then back up again. Now from here, I'm going to start over here again at the same starting point, I'm going to go up really high and then we're going to work our way down and then back out to that same point. Let's draw on some ears. So we're going to give her some little cute little ears. So the half circle on one side and then a half circle on the right. Now before we get into the rest of the hair, I'm going to draw on her body. So let's start with her bikini top. So just below her chin, we're going to draw a straight line down the middle. From here on the top, I'm going to curve around and back in towards the center. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side, curving all the way around. Now from the top, we're just going to come down a little bit and just draw a curve going to the outside on the left. And we'll go to the outside on the right. Now we'll move down a little bit further. Now we're going to reverse the curve going upwards towards the left and towards the right. Let's draw in her body now. So on this side, I'm going to draw a curve. But just over here on the left side bikini, I'm just going to draw an angle line up and one side on the right as well. From here, I'm going to curve down the sides of her hips on both sides. Now down the middle, we're going to come down below here and we're draw a little point. Now this is for the top of her tail. Curve around, over that line, come back, and back towards the center. Kind of like a little raindrop. So here, we'll start on the right, going out to the right, curving back around, go up, and then back to the center. So we're going to close this little line off here. Now inside here, we're going to draw a couple curves. Starting at the top, we'll curve around, we'll curve around one more time, and then on the right, we'll go in the opposite direction, curving around like so. Let's give her some arms. So starting just below the chin here, we're going to go over and draw a curve. From here, we're going to come down just underneath her bikini. We're going to curve a little bit longer line than that. And then we're going to curve back for her thumb. Now from here, I'm going to draw 
a curve coming down and back up. Do an overlap. And then we'll do another overlap and just meet up with that line on the side there. Do the same thing on the right side. So starting up here, we curve out to the wrist. Just below her bikini line, we're going to come down and just draw her thumb. From here, we're going to curve down and back. We're going to do overlap, draw the second finger, and then the third finger will just pull right into that line there. Now let's get into the tail. So just on the side here, lined up on the side of the hip, we're going to come down. We're going to curve back up to the tip of the tail. We're going to take that point and we're going to curve all the way to the side of our hip on this side. So curve down and curve all the way back up like so. Let's draw on the fins. So right here we're going to come down and curve out, in, then out. From this point we're going to make our way to that tip right there. With one curve that goes right in like so. From here we're going to move up and draw the back side of this fin, curving out. We're going to come around the hand, back out, and then back in. Now let's finish off her hair. So on this side here, I'm going to come up all the way up here, and I'm just going to swoop her hair around, and I might actually go just above this hand here. So up here, we curve out, in, and we're just going to kick out the end of her hair like this. Now from here, we're going to curve all the way behind her body. This is going to come all the way up here. So right from here, I'm going to curve out. We're going to draw a little kink in her hair like this. Curve this around. Now we want to match up with this line here. So go behind the hand, under the hand, behind the body. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Ariel, the Little Mermaid. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.